next, uh, the next person to, uh, up to speak is Damon Barone on agenda items number 9, 6.9, 12, number 15.1, and on a general topic, bond election. You have uh, five minutes, and we can... Greetings, Damon Barone, Daily Vice, parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. On Thursday, August 19, 2021, Ailey Fizey, Public Relations Specialist, Craig Eichhorn, and Ailey Fizey, Athletic Director Scott Mullen, utilized 20 minutes of time campaigning for the bond election to Taylor High School parents who showed up to meet Taylor student athletes and club members for the 2021-2022 school year. Promises were made to parents, students, and athletes that Crump Stadium and various athletic departments would receive a makeover if the 2021 bond was passed by receiving favorable votes from the audience and community members. It was also explicitly exp expressed, explicitly expressed several times that the bond would be on the upcoming November 2nd, 2021 election ballot and that the ballot would consist of four separate votes for the district's bond agenda. I noticed that the district conveniently failed to tell parents, students, athletes, and community members that the school board election is also on the November 2nd, 2021 ballot and that the school board members are the bosses of the superintendent and that the board is supposed to be the ambassadors of our community and our voices. During the July 20th, 20, 20, 2021 school board meeting, Matt Gamble with Vendor Baseless and Associates Incorporated made a presentation regarding the A. Levi's voter survey for the bond election. Mr. Gamble stated that 44% of the A. Levi's registered voters who voted in the 2020 election are 55 years of age and older. These are the residents who consistently vote during each election. However, they typically in no way, shape, or form want their property taxes raised, so the district struggles to sell the bond election to these guaranteed voters. Instead, the district, the district secretly targeted these seasoned voters for their participation in voting for the school board candidates that the district has cherry-picked or nurtured to come out, come onto the school board and do the will of Coach H.D. Chambers and the district administrators instead of being the elected bosses of Coach Chambers. On the other hand, 40% of the registered voters in the 2020 election were 18 to 44 years of age. Uh, these are the current students, graduates, and parents who still have kids and family members in this district whom should actually have a bigger voice in the district, but do not. This was a popular sitting in the crowd when Coach Chambers and his staff pushed the bond election on us while, de while de desiring to keep us off of the playing field when it comes to voting for the school board election on the same November 2nd, 2021 ballot. The community does not want to remodel the football field with a, with a fresh coat of paint on it. We want a completely new stadium and a place where we can host our own senior graduations here in our own community instead of giving away our tax money host graduations in other school districts facilities. Furthermore, if the district intends on selling commercial ads for companies to advertise on the proposed digital scoreboard, then why do the taxpayers have to pay for the scoreboard twice without tax money? Let the business ads pay for the scoreboards, not the taxpayers. Because the district leadership insists on, insists upon continuing to play politics with our community involvement and masking our voices to project the desire, desires of the few, it is time for a new voice and new direction of our school district leadership and, all, and it all begins with electing new school board members in the office on November. I will close with this. District leadership seems hell-bent on misleading, hiding, and lying to parents in our community about what is going on with COVID-19 on campuses and in our community. In fact, the willful miscommunication and lies about COVID-19 from the district leadership is worse this year than it was last year, and we've only been in school three weeks so far this year. If we cannot trust your leadership to be good stewards of our children's education nor good stewards of our children's safety, then why are you referring to yourself as a school district when your product is supposed to be education and safety of our children? In other words, profession, in other professions, our customer support or customer service businesses, uh, customer service business, you would, would you continue to do wrong by your customers and have the audacity to expect them to support your business or leadership? Much like no taxation with rep without representation. Remember the Alamo, or I have a dream, where all battle calls, battle calls for, for change. It's time for a new voice, new direction, and daily leadership. And the change begins on November 2nd, 2021, at the election ballot. New voice, new direction. Damon World, daily vice, parent, taxpayer, and alumnus. Thank you. All right. Thank you.